spiritual medium. But at what point does this happen? I believe that everybody has the ability to be spiritual and be psychic. It really is in a part of all of us. Is there a difference between, let's say, a medium, just yourself, psychic, or a fortune teller? Well, you know, all mediums are psychic, but not all psychics are mediums. Mm -hmm. The difference between a psychic and a medium is a psychic typically will just get information from the other side, from spirit guides and angels, possibly loved ones, to tell you what's happening in the future. Where medium differentiates us from, we do have psychic abilities, but we also have the ability to connect directly to those that have crossed over. When you talk about spirits, are there good ones versus bad ones? Oh, there's, <laughs> there's good people here and bad people here, and there are good people on the other side and bad people on the other side. But typically, if you only ask for good light to come to you, good spirits to come to you, um, loved ones to come to you that you care about very much, that's what you're going to attract. Like attracts like. Mm -hmm. Well, have so, you had bad ones ever? I've had a couple of experiences couple. when you're learning and mm -hmm. you're first, you know, I teach a lot of psychic development classes. Um, one of my books does focus just on psychic development. Mm -hmm. As you go through this process of learning how to develop this ability to communicate with the other side, you are an open conduit and you do attract all types of energy. So you want to make sure that you're only asking that of which is the highest good to come mm -hmm. to you and the universal law is that's all you'll draw to you. I wouldn't suggest people that are new to this and trying to develop their abilities to use a Ouija board. Oh, sure. Um, that's very easy of, as a vehicle for lesser so-called higher energies to come through. One time a spirit did push me out of bed, Ooh. you know, felt like I was being pushed down a flight of stairs, so I don't want to scare people. I mean, if you do it in uh -huh. bright light and really try to focus on just attracting good things to you, that's all you will. Well, what about a sense of humor? If they were funny when they were on the other, or when they were here uh -huh. in the living, when they come through from the other side, they'll be funny. We hold on to our personalities as we cross over, so uh -huh. it, your personality is very much part of your soul. So it's really coming out of you then? When I'm communicating with the other side, they will use signs and symbols that I will understand based on what I've learned from my guides. Uh -huh. But at the same time, they'll be specific with pieces of information that only you and they usually will understand. I typically won't know why I'm being shown a bus that, you know, um, had a flat tire on the side of the road in November in the snow, but uh -huh. you will. They'll be really, really specific with names, dates, birthdays, anniversaries. They go into a lot of family history. So if you're going to go to a medium to get a reading, my best advice is to really study up on your family tree, talk to your other family members that are still living and find out family history, family stories, because those typically are the types of information that they will bring up. Well, how does it work now when you're doing a group? Uh, squeaky wheel gets the oil. <laughs> <laughs> really? You mean, if they come up and say, I want this one, I want that, I mean, are you able to get to the whole group of people? Let's say you do if a I have enough 50 time, people. Well, with 50, I would say if I, if I have about three hours, I can usually get to hopefully everybody in the room. You can't promise that, of course, because um, most, the, the spirits that are the strongest will push the weaker ones out of the way. Uh -huh. um, it does not matter how long that person's been crossed over as to how good their ability is to come through. I believe everybody acclimates to the other side fairly quickly, but if you were a good communicator, for instance, that's what you do for a living. Right. You work in communication. Chances are, God forbid, <laughs> if and when that time comes and you tried to connect with us from the other side, you would be very, very good at it. As you go forward, is there something in the plans that you're working on? I mean, are you... We're working on a television pilot. Uh -huh. It's called Something Left to Say. Uh -huh. And we are hoping to be able to pitch that in a couple of months to the networks, but it's basically going to be a platform for those that are wanting to get more information on how to learn to connect to the other side, as well as doing gallery readings, where we'll have several members of the audience um, just connecting with me and do worldly live readings and mm -hmm. trying to bring loved ones through. You know, sure. if, if people are really interested to and want to visit the website, there's uh -huh. a lot of good information there. It's just KathleenTucci.com, but there's a lot of um, useful information on how to learn to develop disability themselves.